and hello and uh welcome to a better world of tanks uh i was playing uh the su-85 now uh i've got a few gripes about this tank it's uh other people love it but i never have good luck with the gun and um i just hate how zero armor it has now, uh, as you can see, I don't quite have the top 85 yet, I've just got the first one, but it's not all that great in, in, of an improvement, but it's still an improvement. And, uh, in this game I actually got Ace Tanker, and it's funny, before I started this game I was talking with my clan, clan saying how I hate this tank. Next game, I get Ace Tanker. And I decided to record it, because why the hell not? I know I currently don't have any mods installed, I haven't quite got around to that ever since the point nine came out. And, uh, I'll just say, I do not leave D1 for a quite a long time. And I can't remember if I take any damage. Basically what I do is just sit here and, uh... I mean, I've got... I, I really should go on these two hills on this map more often. I never go here. Because I'm... Well, normally I'm not really pulling a tank I can snipe effectively with. You can see I took a few extra shots after I lost sight. Just to make sure. Watching that, I might have almost hit that friendly M7, I think that is there. I can almost hit him there. Track that KV-1S. He got something fired by a friendly. I. And then the Hellcat took that kill. And then, uh, for a good portion of the game, I'm just shooting at this chunk of enemy of damage free experience. I don't remember actually get any kills doing this, but... Oh boy, was it fun. Just whittling away at that... Uh... Yep, there it goes. Cromwell. Which I'm currently trying to get, but... I'm in a love-hate relationship with... Love-hate relationship with the Crusader at the moment. Thing... Eh, has its upsides, has its downsides. Yeah, poor Wolverine. And a guy complaining about uh, how I'm on the hell. I just have to type your response, I think is Yep. <laughs> I just had to type your response. If he had seen what I was doing, he would have, he would have shut up. I I'm just i I was whittling away at a lot of their tanks. And then here I see uh, that we've kinda lost that southern flank, that railroad track, so I've turned around to deal with who I'm assuming is going to be going for the cap point. It's a uh, leopard, I believe. I need to do all my settings for replays. Mm, I can't remember if I ever hit this guy or not. That was a bit of a bad lead, too much of one. Oh, well, he stopped anyway, so... I went right over him. This shot is going to track him. Which, I'm not sure how much damage she would have done if I hadn't tracked him here. I'm not sure. And I finish him off for that spectacular one damage. And the teams are even 10-10. 
got our KV-1S and I believe the... It's either that... No, it's the Wolf... The Jackson or the Wolverine that's moving with the KV-1S. And they're actually capping our base right now, but we can't see them. But thankfully, the... Either the Jack or the Wolverine is moving up to spot them, but I believe he he gets taken out. Track uh, pans or was it pans before? No, it's just a smoking carcass. Yeah, me and this Hellcat kind of team up to. Ugh, this guy gives us some trouble. I think I'm just auto targeting him at the moment. I'm actually really surprised I was penetrating him with this angle. I was I was really underestimating the gun on the gun on this tank. 171 damage. I'm loving it. I don't know what the hell I was doing right there. Was that a, no, that wasn't a misclick. I don't know why I shot there. Uh and then I cup him with the Hellcat, because he's lighting everything up for us. And then all that's left is the Dicker Max. Normally known as the D-Max, which I don't know why they decided to extend the name. Now it's just something to make fun of. And last hit, last kill. That was a good game. Oh boy. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm just gonna cut that off. <laughs>